folks, if you were looking at the itinerary that we have, we are actually on match number two. That is Matthew Luera. He competing at the 155 pound no gi blue belt division. This was supposed to be the second match of the night, and now it has been moved down the card. If I know blue belts, it's because one of them was late. <laughs> oh, maybe someone didn't show up. Okay. So, so yeah, one of them must have replaced. That's probably why there was a delay. Gotcha, gotcha. My boy Caesar looking for a redemption. I believe in him. He's a savage. <laughs> he got caught off guard earlier, but Yeah, yeah. He said it was eight seconds. I'm still fresh. I'll come back out. Yeah. <laughs> You'd love to see it, man. I absolutely love the, the fighting spirit coming back out. And the winner has been waiting all night to fight. Romago looking for redemption in his second opportunity. All right, Caesar on top again. We had a bit of discrepancy in the car. We were just getting some word from the truck about what was going on. But yeah, I love I love the idea. Oh, he's already fighting for the legs. And on Ashi attempting the ankle lock here. I want to see him go belly down, though. There it is. Oh, there he goes, belly down. Man, there's a lot of torque on that. Yeah, no doubt. Good, good little escape there, though. So a, a strategy that you can apply too when you use leg locks, a, a lot of times people can get out of the first attempt, but if you can keep attacking the same ankle with the same ankle lock, it really will start to add up over time. Absolutely, eventually something's gonna open up. It's similar to the uh, armbar triangle situation where you just kind of keep going back and forth. They're gonna reset both these individuals. I was gonna mention, I love the idea of, you know, just being ready to fight anyone at any time. Yeah, my match didn't go the way I wanted, but I heard there's an opening, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Just walk out onto the mat and let's run it back. For sure. Warrior mentality. No doubt. Yeah, I've taken two fights before on the same night. Uh, it was like a team MMA match and someone's team dropped a fighter. And so I was able to step in and fight the second time. Uh, the first one I lost by decision. And then the second one I was able to win uh, by rear naked choke. So. There you go. You know, anytime you can redeem yourself, it, it, it's always, you know, a good feeling. I got to believe that's what, uh, that's what Caesar's looking to do here. A Caesar, a dark side guy, a lot of times they're very good at the leg locks. And great little reversal. A good job getting under that leg and trying to keep that pressure off of him, preventing the back take. Caesar. The blue belt and the dark side rash guard, a teammate of mine. I want to scream at him right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tricky thing about super fights, you know. Um, the, the transition from, a lot of times, most of the reps come from tournaments. And, you know, if you have a decent matchup in the first round, you can get warm for the rest of your matches and, and really start to, to showcase. But in the super fight, you only get one shot. Yeah. You know, something that a lot of athletes have to learn is how to be like warm and and ready to go right right when the when the match starts. Absolutely, you have to peak athletically at just the right time for your match to start. So if your match gets delayed, that can really throw you off. Hundred percent. Looking for the leg lock again. Ooh, back in on the leg. He's in Ashi looking for the for the ankle lock. He's gonna try to roll him down, belly down, so he can generate that torque. But he doesn't really have the ankle isolated that well. He's got a lot of that leg. It does seem when has got the long legs. They're both fighting. This is pure 50-50. Who will break first? Yeah, I don't see Caesar tapping to this, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, from our angle, this is like mirror image. Oh, he's, he's got a better, Luna's got a better grip on that ankle lock. Like yeah, he's on yeah. the edge of it, whereas Caesar's got his whole leg in there. And I like the way he's putting his forearm in the calf, preventing, causing more pressure on that muscle, more on the bone. That's old school yeah. catch wrestling. Dig that forearm in there. That's why Caesar had to sit up, because that was starting to get painful, I bet. that it does seem like they both are feeling it on their ankles. They yeah, no moving. doubt. They're not they're <laughs> moving as spunky as they were earlier in the match. 
Yeah, that calf muscle just, it Man. takes, it, it has nowhere to put that energy. It's not connected to anything the way your quads are and your, your biceps are. It just kind of hangs out there below the knee by itself. So it just really absorbs a lot of that pain. Right, right. So, I actually saw Caesar kind of reach down and grab his ankle there, kind of rub it a little bit. Mm -hmm, There's mm -hmm. no doubt. Two, minute mark, two, minutes. two minutes left in the matchup. see yeah <clears throat> his coach is yelling at Luena here that he's down on he's down right now and you know I do think that is true I think uh, Caesar was able to get two two attempts in on the ankle so Luena's really gonna need one but I'd like to see another attempt from Caesar you know you can't at any moment rest absolutely just because you're up doesn't mean you can't get snatched you know we saw it earlier in the uh, I believe it was the heavyweight fight one of the other fights where a fighter's almost secured a knee bar and looked like he had it locked up for sure. And then all of a sudden, you know, the last second you get submitted. Right, right, you know, right, 100%. Yeah, I want to see another attempt by, by uh, there he goes. And he goes right back for it. But this yeah. time he better not get his own ankle trapped. Only 60 seconds to go. He's fighting. He's got too much of that leg. He's got to get all the way on the edge of it. And the coach for Luena is begging him to just stand up, not play this guard game. Yeah, I want to see, Caesar really needs to put both feet on, on the leg so he can really generate a bunch of torque. Take the back. Choke him out, dude. Yeah, on the back takes, you have to be careful because people can use your momentum against you and use it to roll right up on top. You go for the back and you don't have good chest to back connection, they can spin with you and shake you right off and end up in top guard. Well, it's all about maintaining that pressure, maintaining that force as you roll through. You can't just jump on somebody. Put him in side control here. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I definitely think Caesar's up on this one. Yeah, no doubt. Especially. I, hope, I hope he finishes it strong. Yeah, I roll with Caesar all the time. He he's tough to finish. One of those squishy little blue belts. <laughs> <laughs> And I like the way it's those, those little details, the way he used his finger to keep crawling up so that eventually he could connect the hands behind the head and kind of maintain this position. That's it. Time. Nice little scrap. We'll see what the judges say, but I got to think Caesar has actually, you know, avenged the loss earlier in a way. I think so. In dark side fashion with the with the ankle lock setups <laughs> from Ashi. You will win. My decision is totally redeemed himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fantastic showing to come back out by Cesar Rabago.